Welcome to another installment of the Mastercam Studio at Prototech. This exclusive video series features the exceptional functionality found only within Mastercam, the number one most widely used cam software in the world. Here's the topic of today's video. Mastercam has a great feature built in to control feed rate on ARC features. Let's go ahead to my screen and take a look at this option. So on my screen, what I have is I have this uh, simplified part, but it has a lot of different sized radiuses on it. Um, I have a very tight radius on this intersection here, and it kind of varies as we move to the left with a little bit bigger radiuses to the left. So this is going to be a simple contour move. Now, a lot of people potentially can run into situations where they need to slow down or speed up their feed rates in these radius features. And uh, people like to do that for chatter issues, uh, potentially getting a better finish or holding a dimension. So let's go ahead and take a look at my first contour here. So my first contour is just going to go right around that part. And what I have here for a tool is just a half inch end mill and I have a feed rate of 100 inches a minute. Um, I put 100 inches a minute in there just to make the math easy. So this is with no optimizations and master cam turned on. So let's go ahead to the back plot. And in back plot, if we use the S key or type the S key, you can step through each one of these moves. So as we go, we're going to go ahead and see our cutter and we're going to see a feed rate here. And once again, I program this at 100 inches a minute. So all we should see around this whole cut is 100 inches a minute on an external or an internal radius. It won't vary at all. So as you're seeing, I'm seeing a feed rate of 100 all the way around here, as I were to expect. Now let's go ahead and go and look at the same exact tool path, but with it optimized with Mastercam's great little feature here that a lot of people don't know about. So let's go into the parameters of two. Now, once again, this is the same cut, same tool, same feed rate, but in the arc filter tolerance page, it's kind of hiding out here. What you're gonna find down on the bottom right of that page is an override arc feed rate option. Now you can click it on with the button here or turn it off if you prefer not to use this. And what you're going to have is you're gonna have a max ID decrease and a max OD increase. Now you can put a percentages into the boxes to the left and it'll be the actual feed rate on the right or vice versa. So right now I have this set at uh, max ID decrease is all the way down to five inches per minute. So I'm saying, depending on the size of the radius compared to the diameter of the tool, you can go all the way down to five inches a minute just on that feature. Now it's same with the max OD increase. All dependent on the size of the OD radiuses is to gonna determine what you get for a feed rate. And I'm saying you can go up to 200 inches per minute. So let's go ahead and take a look at this in back plot to really see what this optimization is doing. So as we get into the cut here, once again, we're going to be at 100 inches a minute. And my feed rate goes right to 33.333. That's a 3 8 radius there. And it's taking the math from that tool and slowing that down for me because it's an internal radius. Now let's get to an external radius. Once again, it speeds back up to 100 inches a minute. And around the corner, I'm at a feed rate of 200 inches a minute. Now that radius is the radius size of my tool, so I'm getting max feed rate there. If that was a little bigger, as we'll see on the other side of the part, uh, you're gonna notice that my feed rate starts to slow down a little bit, optimizing them feed rates and them radial values. So let's go ahead and we're gonna be at 200 again, 200 again. Now I'm into this sharp radius. Now the sharp radius is a, a 255 thousandths radius. So very close to my shape or uh, diameter of my end mill. Now one thing you'll notice is I'm at a feed rate of five inches a minute. So there it's at doing its work or doing what we're intending it to do is slow down on them internal features, speed up on the external features to give us a little bit of say and have Mastercam do this kind of for us. Now, as I get to this other internal radius, now that's a little bigger and you're gonna see a feed rate of 50 inches a minute. So it really kind of shows you well what's happening here. Once we get out to this outside here, now I have quite a large radius here. Uh, this is a one inch radius. 
Now what do you suppose is gonna happen? That's an external radius. I said the max you can go is 200. So it's gonna figure it out for me and it put it at 125 inches a minute to optimize that cutter around that radius on that corner. So by utilizing these options in here, just make sure you remember it's in the art filter tolerance page. It's hanging out at the bottom right here. Uh, maybe that can uh, save your day, you know, save you some chatter, uh, make a part uh, better to size. Um, there's a lot of use for this and it's one way in Mastercam to uh, optimize your cut. So as always, uh, thanks for watching this video. I certainly hope you can go back and utilize this function potentially in, in some of your programming. And as always, check back on our YouTube channel and thank you.